again, I always give this example in the classroom that you have the raw materials and then you have the end product, right? So you just got the logs and then you have the end product, the desk. But now what's the process in between where those logs are turned into this desk in front of you? That process, so we have the, ver we have the Quran, we have the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and then we have the rulings that when you perform wudu, these are the steps that you follow. And this is the kind of water that you use. And this is how you go about and doing it. How did we get from the Quran and the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to this, you know, these set of instructions and guidelines? There's a process in the middle and that's what Usul Fiqh is.